Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about the conjugated and the derived proteins. Now previously we learned that proteins have been categorized on the basis of their shape and on the basis of their chemical composition. So, on the basis of chemical composition, they were of three types. The holoproteins containing only amino acids, the conjugated and the derived proteins. So, in this video, let us learn about conjugated and derived proteins in detail. First, conjugated proteins. So, the conjugated proteins are those proteins which are associated with a non-protein part. So, that non-protein part is known as prosthetic group. Now, on the basis of what prosthetic group is present in the protein, they are of following categories. The first is nucleoproteins. Nucleoproteins, as the name suggests, the protein is associated with nucleic acid, which is a genetic information transferring material, which is a biomacromolecule again. So, these proteins, which are present in deoxyribonucleoproteins, that is the DNA and inside the RNA. So, it can be present inside the nucleus or the cytoplasm. The next category of proteins is lipoproteins. The lipoproteins, proteins are associated with lipids. The lipids can be cholesterol or the fatty acids. So, lipoproteins are generally water soluble in nature. Example of lipoproteins are egg yolk, the milk proteins and also the cell membrane proteins. The extracellular and the intercellular proteins which are present on the membrane, they are lipoprotein in nature. Now the next category is glycoproteins. The glycoproteins or the proteoglycans means that a protein is associated with carbohydrate but the percentage of carbohydrate is just 2 to 3 percent. So the examples of glycoproteins are immunoglobins that is the antibodies and the antigens of blood the blood group A, O, AB and B. This is because of the antigens and these antigens are glycoproteinaceous in nature. And the next is the hormones like follicle stimulating hormone. The next category of conjugated proteins is mucoproteins. Again, they are protein plus carbohydrates, mainly mucopolysaccharides. But the percentage here is around 4% of carbohydrates. Examples will be mucin present in saliva and the white of the egg, which is also called ovomucoid. The next category is phosphoproteins. As the name suggests again, proteins plus a phosphate group. So, the example is casein protein of milk. It has, it is a phosphoprotein and over white line that is the egg yolk is also a phosphoprotein. Next category is chromoprotein. Chromo means color. So here the proteins which are responsible for color, right? So they have a chromophore ring along with a metal and a protein. So they are called chromoproteins. Examples are very common example hemoglobin which gave red color to the blood the cytochromes, the myoglobin present in the muscles and the hemocyanin which is present generally in invertebrates and rhodopsin which is responsible for the color of the eye. Next category is metalloproteins. Again, protein associated with a metal. Example which is again a most common example is chlorophyll. Now chlorophyll is also a chromoprotein because it gives green color to the leaf but it is associated with a metal which is magnesium. Ferritin present in blood is associated with iron and catalase enzyme which is also associated with iron so is a metalloprotein. Next is derived proteins. Now derived proteins are parts of proteins. They are obtained by denaturation or breaking of the peptide bonds. Now they can be classified again into following categories primary derived and secondary derived. Primary derived proteins are those proteins which are obtained by denaturation. Denaturation by different agents like acids, alkali or heat. Again, they are further categorized as proteins. Proteins means the first stage of the protein which is obtained right after the process of denaturation has started. So, they are fibrin protein of fibrinogen and myosin and myosin. Next is metaproteins. Metaproteins are again product of denaturation only but they are formed at a little later stage. So they are acid and alkali metaproteins. Next category is coagulated proteins. Those proteins which have been completely denatured by the action of UV rays, 
heat, acid or alkali. Now the secondary derived proteins. Secondary derived proteins are parts of proteins. They are obtained by hydrolysis or breaking of the protein by breaking of the peptide bonds. The examples is peptones, the proteoses and the peptides, the small small peptides that are obtained, they are derived proteins. So to summarize we can say that proteins on the basis of chemical composition are of two types conjugated proteins and derived proteins and conjugated proteins can be of several types based on the prosthetic groups nucleoproteins lipoproteins glycoproteins mucoproteins etc and derived proteins can be primary derived and secondary derived so this was all about protein classification in the next video we will learn about function of the proteins thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning